Good morning, y'all. It's me, Queen Tutu. I'm going to show y'all the very best craft you're ever going to come across. It's my famous crisscross hat, or as some people call it, my halo hat. And the first thing I'm going to do is show y'all what y'all need, okay? And the first thing you're going to need is to buy a half a yard of material, the color of your choice, because you can make your hats red or pur and purple, red on red, purple on purple, lavender and pink, whatever. Red hat colors, of course. And then you're going to need a pack of this air conditioner insulation. And I'll buy mine uh, right here locally in town, but of course I'm sure you can find it online. It's a... Um, by it's a, a two and a quarter by two and a quarter by 42 okay air conditioner you need a, either a box cutter a scissors or an electric knife and you're gonna need of course your glue gun uh, glue sticks of course a measuring tape or a yardstick and whatever embellishments you want, if you want any at all, you can use lace, rickrack, uh, ribbon, rhinestones, whatever you want. And that's what you need for making a crisscross or halo hat. know what you need, we're gonna show I'm gonna show y'all what you gotta do. You're gonna take your material. And you're going to make yourself three strips that are going to be five and a half to six inches in width and 38 inches in length. And don't worry about cutting it straight because it's not going to show. Look how straight that is. So you cut yourself three pieces like that. You can use the same color, mixed colors, red and purple, lavender and pink, or even a little flashy red. See? So you cut your material. Then the next thing we're gonna do is, you're gonna take this, I took one out of the bag, you're gonna take it out of the bag, you're gonna measure 38 inches, although it says it's 42, see, this one is already 38. So if it's not 38, because it says it's 42, cut it. I cut this one already, sorry. So cut off the excess. Now, I used to, when I first started, I used to cut it with a knife. Then I graduated to a box cutter. And then I really graduated into a, oh, goodness, it's falling apart. Oh, I wonder if it's going to work. You think I'll get electrocuted? No. What I'm going to do, this is my what I use to cut with, so I don't cut my table. Look at this, it's a red hat dose. Very cute, you can find it on the internet. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna evil lie it and I'm gonna cut it. See how I'm cutting it in half? Now, when you buy this, sometimes the um, foam is real. If it's dark, it's harder to cut. If it's gray, it's very light to cut. So cut that in half. Well, it's not come back on, so that's it. Lucky I got some cut in half. Look, see, it's cut in half. Then you take that each a half, and you cut it in three. And you don't quite cut it all the way so that it stays together. You cut it in three, like that. So you got three pieces. So one package makes two hats. Cut it in half, cut each half in three. Take your material that you pre-cut Lay it flat. And of course, it's, it's better to work with a crowded bench. I love that. You're going to take that. And let's see if the glue gun is hot. Yes. You're going to bit a bead of glue. And when you do the first one, it's easy. You can go all the way. 
and then you fold it in like this. Of course, I have made so many of these, I rarely burn myself. So if you're not that savvy with your glue gun, you'd be really, really careful, okay? So that's the first bead of glue. Then you're gonna take it and make a little spot right here. And you're gonna fold it over and put it in the glue, like so. See how it's gonna look? And what you wanna do is you wanna flatten it out because this part is to your head and you don't want no big glue globs because that will give you a headache. And you go all the way and do the same thing See? And flatten it out. Just like that. Go all the way. See how easy it is, y'all? And I'm excited to say that these crisscross hats are made all over the world. And I donate this to the Red Hat Society for other Red Hatters to make them. Here we go. Like that. Push it down. Make it flat. Okay. See, so far so good. I didn't burn myself. So you're going to repeat that and make three strips. Okay, now we've done all three strips. In this particular hat, I'm going to do two reds and one purple. And let's measure that. See, it's pretty much 38. Yeah, 38 inches, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to put two together with the seam up with the seam up. Doesn't matter what two that you put together. Just so happen, I'll put the two reds together and then I'm gonna put the purple on top of it like this. And what I do, cause it takes a minute to dry, I take a rubber band and I put it like that so that it will dry. Okay, so now that we put the rubber band to dry and it made a nice, nice dryness, we're gonna braid it, okay? Now everybody braids different. You can braid to you or braid against you. So this time I'm gonna braid toward me. Okay, start like this. Everybody knows how to braid, right? If not, this is how you do it, like this. Now the tighter you braid, the smaller the hat in height. So, and look how it's taking this natural shape. Look at that, see? Notice that the seam is facing you. Keep braiding. And you braid all the way to the end. It's never gonna end up exactly right, but that's okay because it's longer than what you need anyhow. There's your braid, there's the front, there's the back. And you're gonna glue it See how I'm putting the glue here? Put a good big glue, because you don't want it to come apart. Take that same rubber band, put it on here for it to dry. Press it flat. Again, you don't want no clunks of glue on your uh, inside of the hat. Okay, so now it's dry. Take the rubber band off and you have to take your hat off and shake your hair because you're going to measure it on your head. My head, you know, I wear a medium, okay? A medium is 22 inches, a small is 21, and a large is 23. So this is how I measure. And I look for the flattest, and this is the flattest part, so that's going to be what I face to my head. So I put it on my head. And if it can go to my neck, like this, that's a 23. 
For my head size 22, I'm gonna go a little further and then if it fits a little tight because they stretch, I'm gonna make it a little tight, okay? This is my size, medium, and a small you'd go in maybe another inch. So, let me put my hat back on because I know I got hat hair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this a middle, medium size. Let's talk about scissors. Do not cut your foam. You see that little piece of material? That's to cut material only. Once you cut this foam with your good material, it ain't gonna cut again. So I use my throwaway scissors, okay? And that's what you're gonna cut the excess. Okay, so it has glued, and you're just gonna remove that rubber band, and you're gonna take your throwaway scissors, and if there's any cut left in it, you cut it. This one has cut left in it, yay! See what I mean, boy? Now what I do, see how it does a little bit? Put some more glue right there, and pull it together again, because that's very important for this part to stay glued, okay? And if you burn yourself, do not use bad words, because it will cost you a dollar. Ask Nancy about that. So anyhow, we're gonna put it back to glue, and while that is gluing, we're gonna take this piece that I told you about earlier to make the band. Now, fortunately, I had a friend that had a serger, and she surged me probably a hundred of these. One seam in the back, and she even closed it. But, but to show you, if you don't have a sewing machine or a serger, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Put it, you know, the pretty side together. And this is not quite even. But you know what? It don't really matter because you cover your mistakes with the glue. But I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna put a bead of glue as light as you can, no big clumps. Look, see like this, like that, like that, to the edge. Whoops! And you're gonna take your throwaway scissors or your glue sticks and you're gonna press it out to make it flat but it's really 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 hot so you don't want to burn your fingers and that's it that is your seam by a glue bead make a long bead all across like that and it dries pretty fast then you turn it inside out like so and then you glue each end. Put this to the back. Then you make a little bead in here. And you flatten it out. And you do the same thing on this end. And make a little thin bead like so you want to make sure your seam is flat okay so you glue it with the seam in the same direction and that's your band made with a glue seam and this is your band sewed and if you notice it's a little shorter because when you don't sew it you got to fold it more like that make a little seam so we're going to take this off we know that's glued good and if you got a little clump of glue, you know what I do? I just cut that little clump off. Oops, told y'all that's a throwaway. Oh, okay, good. So, now, you're gonna trim this on the inside. I'll turn it inside out so you can see it better. You're gonna trim that, I like to trim it a little bit. On a wedge, making a sort of a wedge so that it's flatter. I'll do it on the outside for you to see it better. And you're going to take this. Let me take the one we made. And you're going to make sure that the front is covered. Actually, I have to use this one because it matches the um, material. 
See how I'm making sure the man is covered? I gotta do it on the inside, I'm sorry, y'all. Like so. Make sure that that is in the band. And we're gonna make a bead in here. Like that. Respect the hot glue ladies. See, respect it. Cause it's hot. Now this is a part I really don't like. But I'm having fun. I love making these hats. I wonder how many I have made. Lord only knows. Okay. So, that's glued. Now I'm going to take it and kind of pull it a little tight. Like so. Check it. Make sure it looks okay. That it looks a little even. And you're going to fold it a little seam you're gonna make it tighter than you want it because it releases okay then i'm gonna put a bead of glue right here oops I'm trying to show y'all um it's having me a hard giving me a hard time because i usually face it to me like that see see it's not hard at all still respect that glue ladies because it's hot Sometimes I think my fingers are kneel to it. They hardly burn anymore, you know. So this is my pattern. And I'm going to tell you, like I say, when you use a recipe, follow the recipe the first time. Follow my pattern the first time. Then you do what you want. Some people like to sew this part. Sew it. Sew it by hand. And ladies, that is it. This is, woo, a crisscross hat. My name for it is a crisscross hat, and people call it a halo hat. That's fine, too. There we go. Now, you can embellish it. You can also use it as a, a pin holder. Look at all the pins on this hat. See? All the wonderful pins that we've collected through the years. Now, I wear mine with the band to the front, okay, like that. And I take my hair and I do that. How she looks, she looks good, huh? So ladies, this is a crisscross hat. Uh, we will some kind of way give you the uh, necessary items that you need for the hat and we will give you the instructions and have fun, have fun red hatting.